Hi all, it's that time of year again. Um, well the, the strawberries have almost finished. Uh, this particular bed, there's just a few stragglers left. Some of those have been eaten. And we've got the runners. Right, so. I've just been having a little poke in here. I'm hoping I can find them now, yeah. Uh, here's one. Can you see that? I'm hoping you can see that. Tell you what, I'm going to give it a snip. It's, it's clack. It's, this is a runner and it's connected to the main plant, which is called the mother plant. I'm going to give it a snip. So I've snipped it. We don't want that. That would produce more runners on there. We don't need that bit. I'm going to snip it here. I'm hoping you can see that. We've got some nice roots on there. That I'm going to place into, I don't know if you can see it, into the bed, empty bed in my netted enclosure. I'm thinking about that I'm going to gradually move my strawberry plants into there for next year. These are Corona. I'm almost certain that the whole of this palette is Corona. There might just be the odd one which isn't. And these produce very big sweet strawberries which are also resistant to most of the diseases. So there's one plant. So I'm just going to put that on the floor and we're going to have a little poke around see if there's any more so well developed. They are. There's another one. So I'm going to snip it. We don't want that end bit because there's, that will grow more. So I'm going to snip it there. That's another plant. Another one. Snip it. Now what I'm doing is one way that I've been I've had success in the past. As long as you keep watering them each day, these will grow. Um, but I don't advise it for beginners. It's something which, or for those who have got a limited supply. So if you've got a limited supply, what you would do, rather than snip it, you would tuck it into the soil, hold it down with a bit of a, a U wire and then that will root into the soil, then do what I've just shown you with clipping it. So we've got four plants up to now. We've got nettles in here. I can feel them, I'm getting stung to hell. That looks like quite a nice one. I've actually got one here that's actually rooted. Look. Brilliant. There's a lot of these that still haven't developed their runners properly, so uh, can't do a lot with. Another nice one there. That one's not so good. Another beauty there. Those lovely plants. 
all hiding. Got a well developed one there. It's another beauty. And so on. Right. We're going to move on into the netted enclosure now, and I'm going to put these in. Um, and I'll show you how I'll do that. Okay, back in a second. Hello again, I'm sorry for that delay. I hope you can see me okay. Now, what I've done is I've laid out 12 of these runners. Um, I've worked out before that I can get 12 into one of these beds. And um, now, what, what I'm about to show you doesn't apply to this one because it's got a good root system to it. So that one can just go into the soil. You've got to keep the, cr the crown. ground level. The crown is just above these roots but be and below where all the little new shoots come out of. So it's just to that level there. That's what that's got to be to ground level. If you have that very deeper it's going to rot the plant. Right now what I've got I've made some new bits out of some wire. I hope you can see this. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to put this into the soil gently. It's more or less on the top of the soil. Just a little sprinkle of soil over and, and just hook it on. And that's it. I'm just going to stick the, the metal at the hook just a little sprinkle of soil, it's, the crown's got, as I say, it's got to be at ground level. And what will happen is they'll root into the ground. I'm going to give it, I'll give it a good watering in a minute. good soaking and I'll water them for the next probably in the next week or two if we don't get any rain with putting these in this time of the year these should, should establish a good root system by the autumn and uh, during the winter the roots will, well come the spring the roots will develop quickly and, um, and it will be like in, some of you probably bought the plants from Aldi uh, hopefully that's what we're hoping for you know, except for Aldi ones have been um, they've been planted indoors so that they're going to be probably better but 
Well, we'll see. This, in this netted enclosure, it adds some protection when it's cold. Uh, strawberries do like the cold. In fact, they need to have some good frost to create um, good plants. But also, they do need some protection from the frost when the flowers are out. If the flowers are out when there's a frost, then you'll get the black spot. I'm hoping you can hear me, it's ceiling here. You'll get the black spot and uh, then, as I say, you, you've got to take that flower off. It's no good. So my plan is, what I'm thinking is that in this area, uh, I'm going to gradually introduce my strawberries in, into these beds. We've got a bed down there which has got um, cabbages in. That, that, that will get cleared. I'm adding a few more to my strawberry bed down there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've got leeks in here, so I can't. They'll they'll carry on for a good time yet. Um, and we've got shallots at the back. They they'll probably come up at some point. And then there's these two beds here, which have got French beans in. Um, so I'll be hopefully I'll be able to get some runners in, or some actual plants, maybe some plants transferred into it. And I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be my strawberry enclosure for next year. That's the current plan. It might change again. It's always evolving your plans. I'm not going to show you anymore because I'll just bore you. Um, oh, wrong app. And I'm just gradually getting, things, getting on top of things. All those strawberry plants out there, I need to sort out. Um, I've just got my feeling that the plants aren't much good. I've, I've had them in pots, and I think they've probably gone by the sell-by date now. Um, and I'm debating whether I might take them all up. Have new new plants in here. Um, got that existing bed, what you've just seen me do. That's a good one. And, uh, and these should be okay, these two here. Uh, but we'll have to see if I do happen to take do do some alterations to one or two of those then I'll probably have flowers in there um, we'll see plans change might even be potatoes who knows <laughs> okay catch you later